Hello folks, it's uh, Panda Dipoa here for a new video. Well, I'm pretty sure you're wondering if it's possible to use like an Xbox One controller or any X input controllers connected to your PC. It could be wired. Uh, no, this one is not wired, but it could be wireless or wired, doesn't matter. So basically any X input controllers that is connected on your PC with Yuzu. So basically emulating Switch games and playing with Xbox One controller? Well, it's a tough question, but today I will show you that it's totally possible and I will say that I will show you how to do it. It's magical. So let's start, come here. So firstly first, I will say that we have first a prerequisite to have an Xbox One controller. It's like the base, right? If you don't have an Xbox One controller, I don't know what you are doing here watching this video. I won't show you how to pair your Xbox One controller because I'm pretty sure you know already how to do it with a Microsoft system. In my case, it's Windows 11, but it works with Windows 10. Uh, I will just turn on the controller here and now it's connected through uh, Bluetooth. It's paired ready and we can use it right away now i will just run yuzu and here i will go into emulation configure and i will go onto controls and normally you will fall here on the window with the input device set to any okay it will be like the default value there but if you click on it and you want to change it for an Xbox One controller zero, that should appear here. So just be sure that your controller is turned on before launching Yuzu. It's very important because you won't see, generally won't see your controller appearing here if you're not ensuring that it's turned on before launching Yuzu. It's like something very tricky, but it's something that was causing issue in the past when I was using my Xbox One controller. So here you will see your Xbox One controller appearing, you select it, and as you can see, everything is already set up. You don't have to do anything else to make your stuff working as expected. Everything is set up by default. So that's it. <laughs> I don't have anything else to show you today in that video. It was a very short one, a very short tutorial. Keep in mind though, I will say that the motion is not working, okay? Because basically uh, you don't have any motion embedded into any Xbox One controller. And I don't think it would change. In the future, if it change, I will be very happy to do another video to show you how it works. But uh, as of today, it's not implemented at the hardware level into the Xbox, Xbox One controller. So keep in mind that if you want to play some games that are requiring some motion as part of the gameplay and that you need the motion to be able to unlock some gameplay parts, it won't work. Purely, simply, it won't work. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please subscribe. Um, yeah, it's no no brainer. You you have to like the video. I think it's important for me. But also subscribe because I have a lot of videos coming, and I'm pretty sure you want to stay tuned and to see what's coming, right? So thank you and have a good day. Bye.